It's Tuesday, April 2nd. It's April 2nd. Anyway, welcome to a new vloggy vlog. I just logged out of work. It's literally five o'clock on the dot. Baby, I said, control, out, delete, sign out. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm off tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. I'm actually hopping on an early flight tomorrow to St. Louis and then I'm driving down to Kentucky. I think I told y'all this in my last vlog, but whatever. Driving um, down to like Fortune, Fulton, some, some. My friend's son goes to Kentucky State. Um, he has a probate show tomorrow night. So I'm hopping on a flight in the morning and then riding to his school with her to go to the probate, probate and then I'm flying back Thursday, I think at like four o'clock or something like that. So we need to pack a little bag. Not too much, just something to put on to go through the probate, some pajamas and something to fly back home in. I actually need to get this done pretty quickly because somebody is dropping me something off. And <laughs> y'all, <laughs> the other day he brought me something and I was making a TikTok. I mean, he knows I do TikTok or whatever, like it's not a secret. <laughs> I was in the middle of recording and when he came to the door because I have like a door person but like I don't know how he be getting through but anyway they didn't call me and let me know he was coming up so I was like in the middle of recording when he like knocked on the door so I like hear him can't cut the camera off I don't know why I'm whispering like he outside the door or something but I like hurry up <laughs> I cut the camera off so quick and I was like trying to put the tripod away. So I'm like, give me a minute. Oh, whatever. So when I opened the door, he's like, what the hell are you here doing? I'm hearing stuff clicking. I was like, oh, I was on the phone with my sister. I was just on the phone with my sister. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was just on the phone with my sister or whatever. But I was really trying to like put the tripod up and hide it. Anyway, so I got to at least give y'all an update on what I got going on quickly. So I'm not like in the middle of talking to this damn camera and then he like come to my door and I be shame again. Like, girl, anyway, let me pull my suitcase and stuff out. I'm just doing a little carry on. Um, because I don't have that much stuff. But y'all know I live in this little video space. So I um have my carry on inside this big suitcase. Watch my toe. Girl, my friend, y'all think I'm extra. My best friend is so extra, so. She done bought a whole outfit to wear. <laughs> she bought a whole Celine hoodie and like a matching bag. She's more like high, high fashion. Yeah, I know I'm a contemporary girl, but my best friend is more like, you know, Gucci Louie. To leave, like that type of stuff. I mean, I like that stuff too, but it, you know, I'm not a bad person. She got a bunch of bags. Maybe she'll let me play in her closet tomorrow so I can show y'all on the vlog. So I'm gonna take my camera with me. Um, and all that type of stuff. So we, same but different, if that makes sense. Oh, this is my little cow pack. Like I said, I just need something to fly back home in. And some pajamas. I'm probably gonna pack, pack this hoodie. Nah, I need a hoodie with a hood on it. Cause I, yeah, I need a hoodie with a hood on it. Um, Cause it be cold. And I think I'm gonna go stay at my sister house. My niece don't know I'm coming. So I may surprise my niece when we get back from Kentucky. I'll go sleep at my sister house. Cause I don't fly out until four, but I think she got school. So that won't make a difference. I might end up missing her anyway, but. Whatever, uh, it be cold in my sister's house and I need a hoodie with a hood so I can like really bundle up. I gotta pull that big case back out because I left my house shoes. I don't go nowhere without no house shoes. I don't care if I'm gonna be there for a day. I need my house shoes. What is this? And this is a clothes, like I keep this in my bag for dirty clothes. I don't know why I'm, like I feel like I'm whispering. <laughs> I don't want to get caught again. Anyway, we gonna keep this on this side. <laughs> this is annoying. I 
I did all that just to get these. Girl, <laughs> please. So on this side of the suitcase, I just got my toiletry, some house shoes, some shower shoes, cause my sister got a teenage son and if he hop in the shower before I do, if I end up staying in her house, I don't put my feet on the shower floor after no teenage boy. I don't care where I'm at. Um, so some shower shoes and then I'm a flat iron my hair in the morning and then throw the flat irons in this side too and that'll be it. Now as far as what I'm wearing, Oh, these are not the right shoes. Hold on. <laughs> Girl. Oh. oh, God. So I'm gonna do these. So I think I'm gonna wear them to the airport and then wear them to the probate and then wear them home. I'm not taking more than one pair of shoes. So these are gonna be the shoes. That's it, that's all. I'm gonna leave, I need to, why did I take them out of the closet? I need to leave them out because I'm gonna wear them in the morning. I'm either gonna do these. I don't know how I, however I feel that day. I'm either gonna do these Sandro jeans or either my trusty, dusty gap denim for the probate. One of the two. It's gonna be a pair of denim for show though. Or should I do black denim? Should I do black? Hmm. Maybe I'll just take blue, the blue gap jeans and the black gap jeans and leave the Sandro jeans. And then I'll decide at that time. <coughs> Excuse me. It's literally the same pair of jeans in black and blue. I don't know, I might feel like doing black. Um, and then for a shirt, I'm either gonna do a basic tee Oh, I don't have no oversized tee, Clee. Okay, this'll do. I'm either gonna do a basic tee or this Zara, like, high neck. Both white. Different fonts. It just really depends on how I feel. Both of them are going to go with the same sneakers, so I might wanna feel a little elevated casual or casual casual, just by nature of the jeans, because if I wear the blue jeans, that'll be more like casual, casual, because it has like the rips at the knees and the black jeans don't have any rips. I'd wear it with this. If I wear the blue jeans, I'll wear it with this. So a little less casual just by nature of the shirt, a little more casual just by nature of the jeans. So there's that. Actually, you can put them in a little something so they don't get color transfer from the denim. And then I'm gonna just pack my leather jacket and wear my long sandal coat. Cause I don't know which I wanna wear for the, tr like for like, it depends on which style I go for, which I wear. So I'm gonna take both. I'm gonna wear the long coat and I'm gonna take the jacket and that'll be that. <laughs> Didn't I tell y'all that shit was gonna happen? Hold on, let me make sure he on the elevator. Did I tell y'all what's gonna happen? <laughs> Literally, the camera was sitting right here and my builder called like, yo, you have a visitor downstairs, can we send them up? I'm like, yeah, y'all, I literally just hear it over like, close this suitcase and like slid it in the corner <laughs> and threw this camera. <laughs> I be so embarrassed. Anyway, he brought me a snack. These cookies he always talking about from Jewel. Yesterday, he brought me a big ass, the other day he brought me this like uh, kale and like blueberry and like nut salad, it was so good. He always talked about it, so he brought me that. So then yesterday he brought me these uh, rib tips that he always talked about. I'm talking about like a big old like family size of rib tips, y'all, I ate the whole thing. I ate some of it in the fries last night and then I literally been eating a rib tip an hour all day and then today he brought me these i'm like boy i'm never gonna lose weight you keep feeding me like that anyway so i basically have everything that i'm gonna pack and then i think tomorrow for 
the airport, I'm just going to wear um you know how like my top lips smell like him. Oh my god. Mm. I think I'm just gonna wear these trusty dusty Dries sweats to the airport. They probably sick of me. I don't care. And then I'm gonna wear it with this Alexander Wang sweater and then just like a t-shirt. But maybe like a cute t-shirt. What's this? This is Shakamoose. Should I wear this Shakamoose t-shirt? Yeah, I'll just wear this because I love the high neck on this t-shirt. So I'll just wear this Jacquemus t-shirt and that's what I'll wear in the morning. What's this t-shirt? Oh, that's that J.W. Anderson one. So I'll wear this. And I'll probably wear these sweats home. And maybe I'll wear a different t-shirt and this sweater. Not maybe, I will. Y'all hear my heater? I need to put a um, request in for my heater to get checked. I'll bring this Essentials t-shirt to fly back in. Yeah, I'll fly back in this, the sweats and the sweater. Perfect, I just need underwear. And hold on, let me show y'all my face. I just need, oh wait, a hoodie. I don't go normal without no hoodie. That's just me though. Ugh. I'm just paying some sun. Let me finish packing up and then I'll be back. I officially have everything I need so I can zip this. This is just gonna be a carry-on too. I'm not checking this. Because the only other thing I'm carrying with me is definitely my Masubi. Like who am I? Should I carry my little Givenchy? Nah, no, I'm gonna carry my Masubi. And then I have some socks, some like loungy socks, a little t-shirt to sleep in, some Nike pants, a hoodie, travel bag, couple pair of pants to wear. And then I stuff those two white shirts in the hoodie so they don't get any like marks on them or anything. And that's it. I can go close this up. Some drawers under there too. I really do need to get that Masubi in black. The Masubi tote. It's time. It is time. Good to go. Is this the one where the handle Oh, Okay. Girl, is this wheel messed up? Sound like they broke my shit. No, it's fine. Okay. I take these Prada Sunnies. Because I'm either going to wear these if I do the dress down version of my little OOTD. Hold on, y'all too low. Um, I don't like the little car ride. Because we have to do a car ride. Or I'm going to take these. Same a lot. So I'll pack both of those in my Masubi. Um, and as far as makeup, I'm literally just going to do, pack a little eyeliner. I'm not gonna put on like no face makeup. So just, not eyeliner, mascara. And um, what am I thinking of? Mascara and my brow pencil, which I'll pack in the morning when I use it. And then just a nude lip. So I'll probably just do this new lip yeah that's it okay so i'm all packed up but before i like unwind for tonight i want to try one of these cookies i really need to be eating some dinner but i'm gonna try a cookie it's only 5:43. it's too early to eat dinner so i'm gonna try one of these cookies see if he know what he's talking about mr don't miss i'm just gonna do a little piece of it Mmm.
Oh my God. It's a turtle cookie. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Then why these mouths be whooping my head? Y'all, it is so. Mm, mm, mm. So good. It's him. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. It's a little bit later. <laughs> I'm real childish the way I left, y'all. I apologize. I'm about to make um some dinner. Some quick dinner. I'm making what I was going to make for lunch, but I ended up eating those leftover ribs. I was brought for dinner last night for lunch. Um and I'm about to eat some some cottage cheese. I'm trying to get more protein in my diet. So I saw a cottage cheese recipe. I hate cottage cheese. I hate the way that it looks. I don't like the way that it tastes, but it's really high in protein. So I'm gonna try it to try to get a little extra protein in my diet. Um, so I'm boiling some eggs right now. It's gonna be like a little egg salad. We're gonna use the cottage cheese, some honey. I think that was all that was in the recipe and some like salt and pepper i don't think i need this entire oh let me take my bread out because it's frozen but i think only booty breads in here i don't want no booty bread let me see um but yeah i'm trying to get more protein in This bread is froze rock solid. <sighs> solid as a rock. Yeah, I'm not gonna need this whole avocado because I be forgetting how small these bread slices are. I'm probably not gonna need all three of them eggs either. Maybe I'll do three of these and then I'll get rid of that. Girl, this bread is so frozen. My, girl, I don't have time for this. I, I really don't. I need to see how, how the fucking, like what is my oven on? I mean, my freezer on, why is it so hard? Anyway, I'm gonna do three pieces of toast. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat all that. I'm kind of full from like that cookie. I'm gonna cut this avocado in half. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Good thing is I'm all packed up, so I literally just have to, I think I'm gonna use the big part. I just have to um, hop out the bed in the morning, get in the shower again. I'm gonna get in the shower tonight, y'all know me. And then, um, I never know how to like eloquently get this little ball out of there. I already pre-scheduled my Uber to pick me up at 4.40, I think. We don't board until 6.05. And I have pre-check and I'm doing a carry-on. So I'm probably getting there early, early, even a little earlier than I need to. Cause it only takes like 20 minutes to get to the, um, I'm flying out of Midway. Um, I'm gonna take like 20 minutes to get to the airport. So I'll be there a good hour before it's time to board. But I don't know. It's just something in my mind that feel like I need at least an hour buffer. Cause you just never freaking know. You never know. I think I'm gonna use both pieces of avocado. Um, You just never know. Anyway, I'll get this all assembled and then I'll come back and show y'all what it what it looks like okay y'all this is what it looks like it looks disgusting but i tasted it and it actually tastes good and again it's just the avocado boiled eggs uh the cottage cheese the momofuku uh hot honey chili crunch and then salt and pepper and it actually tastes good it looks disgusting and i eat with my eyes so i'm just gonna have to like Actually, that's not true because I mean you talking to somebody that's gonna eat 
anything tartare. It don't matter. It could be beef tartare, tuna tartare, steak tartare. Well, beef is steak is beef. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. It could be whatever. Tartare that I'm eating. That's literally just chopped meat. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator let it get cold. I'm toasting my bread. I'm going to put it on there. And that's going to be dinner. And I will see y'all in the morning before I head out. Or the airport. It's Wednesday morning. I changed my little outfit. I'm wearing to the airport a little bit. I'm wearing this Ghani t-shirt, but I'm still wearing that sweater I told y'all about. Let me lower y'all a little bit. And then I have one of these Drees Van Noten sweats that I love to death. And then these Nike footscapes that I told y'all I was wearing. And then I decided to wear my leather jacket um, despite whatever outfit I wear because I don't want to wear that big old coat on the plane and I don't want to be responsible for it. So anyway. Good morning, here's my face. I'm sorry I started off at my chest. I'm whispering because my friend is about to bring me. I think I'm gonna go down though because I don't think he has time to come up. But anyway, he's bringing me a little snack before the airplane. So um, I went ahead and put on my clothes because it's seven, it's seven, I mean 426 and my Uber is scheduled to pick me up at 440. So, I just wanted to make sure that I was ready when my Uber got here. Anyway, this is the hair. I just freshened it up with a little flat iron this morning. No makeup or anything because, girl, I'm about to knock out on this plane. Even though it's only like a 55 minute plane ride. It's not even an hour. But I wanted to come on and say good morning. I am packing my camera. Hopefully, I remember to take it out. I'll definitely remember to take it out. I feel like when we're on the roll but when we get into the probate i might forget but we'll see anyway it's coming with me spend a 24 hour travel day with me this is a 6 45 a.m flight got my coffee i don't know why i'm holding it like this but anyway i'm on a flight um headed to st louis i grabbed uh, my book that i'm reading currently which is red lip theology by candace marie bimbo some apples and my coffee for breakfast. Um, it's a short flight. It's only like 50, 55 minutes or something like that. The sun was shining and I'm one of those people, if I'm sitting by the window, the window is up. Sorry to the people around me. I needed the light to read. Anyway, short flight and then I was in St. Louis just like that. Uh, my best friend picked me up from the airport. She picked me up and we headed to our side of the Mississippi, East St. Louis to be exact for a little bit um, to do a couple little errands. And then we went back to St. Louis, got some breakfast at a place called The Shack. I don't know, it was good. Uh, I guess she goes there often. I don't know, we needed to go to Louis in the Plaza Frontenac, which is why we went back over there to have breakfast. Shout out to the young man that was in there and like clocked my my whole shoe bag tea. He said he liked my, he liked me because of my fit, period. Anyway, then we got back home and while my friend was getting ready, I was opening her Celine packages because girl, why, why are they not open? I wanna see what's in them. We stopped by our old high school to pick up um, a couple of her nieces and then we hopped on the road for the reason that I'm coming. We're somewhere in, one of the Kentuckys, I think Louisville. Um, we were heading to Kentucky State, which is in somewhere Kentucky. Anyway, here we are arriving at Kentucky State. This is where her son attends school and we were headed there for his probate show. So he crossed Kappa this week and his probate was on Wednesday night. He did so well. I was beside myself, as you can hear, by the auntie screams. His mom, my other best friend, his family, we all went down. And it was just so great to see him doing this. Then the next morning, or afternoon rather, my friend and I went to the Central West End um, and went to Main Squeeze and tried a bunch of different uh, juices and stuff. It just tastes like chocolate milk with all of, without all of the um, additives. Here's what else I got at her recommendation. She goes here a lot. Like she has points and everything. It's crazy. I also got avocado toast and then I got probably the best chai latte I've had in a long time. And then we just sat around and kiki until it was time for me to go to the airport and I forgot all about y'all, but this is me 
hopping in an Uber, leaving the airport, headed home. I cannot wait or could not wait to get home because I'm at home right now. I'm at home right now about to rub my feet together. Anyway, that's it. 24 hours of traveling. I could not miss my best friend's son's probate. He is actually the first in my friend group or the first kid from my friends to go to college he graduates in the fall and so it's just really exciting and i want to make sure i be there for all of that good morning happy third friday i'm back home uh <laughs> that was so fucking lame uh as y'all can see y'all got the tiktok version of the last couple of days while i was in you know st louis and then kentucky and then back to chicago because I indeed packed my camera, but it did not come out per the usual. Anyway, when I left off when I was at home, I was making that like egg salad, trying to incorporate the cottage, this nasty. It, 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 I ate one piece of toast, like literally, the other two pieces of toast are in this uh, foil that I wrapped up before I left, like that night. Um, Hopefully I can still eat it. I haven't even opened the foil to see if it'll be okay for me to eat this morning. Anyway, nasty. It went in the trash. The trash went to the trash compactor because yuck. Um, so I'm about to try something else because I went to the gym this morning. Fridays are usually my rest days, but since I was off, let me lower y'all a little bit. Since I was off Wednesday and Thursday, I went down this morning and did a speed run just because I didn't want to like miss a run this week because I have a 12 mile run on Sunday and I need to be, oh, it's a shell in there. I need to be like all stretched out and ready to go. Anyway, so I'm trying a different way to incorporate additional protein because I need a lot of protein after that run. I'm about to put it in my eggs, some scrambled eggs like somebody told me to. They said it would make it like a fluffy egg so i'm gonna try it that way and see how that works anyway as you can see i really enjoyed um the probate i was so proud of hakeem is his name i call him hakam as you heard me refer to him in the um video that's what well i don't call him we all call him hakam his name is hakeem but his nickname is hakam or i used to call him how come how come because you know his mom was a young mom and we would be out of there and he would have to stay with granny and he would want to go and we would be like no and he would be like how come so yeah anyway um it was great to see him in that capacity and we were all just like flabbergasted to see him like so outspoken and you know using a cane and and just all of that because he's a mal-mannered quiet quiet child but obviously he's different in college he had like a group of friends that were like we're his crew and was like introducing themselves to his mom and she just was like what's going on had to make her be you know nicer to the friend group because she's also very like um i'm gonna throw those eggs away i'm not leaving them in my carton she's very much like her son in that she's kind of mild tempered and quiet but anyway i love seeing him in that element and that's the first of my i have friends who have kids that are his age that maybe went to college and didn't fully matriculate or whatever the reason is but he's the first one to of my friend's children to go to college pledge something and then he'll be graduating in the fall and then my other best friend my my best friend since fifth, fifth grade her son is wrapping up his freshman year in college um so yeah it's just exciting to see all of these kids that my friends started having when we were like in high school doing amazing things because you know as people do they had things to say they doubted them you know so on and so forth so i'm so happy to see these kids flourishing and thriving specifically and particularly that one because you know he lost his granny his granddad he lost a cousin he just went through a lot of loss as a child you know had a single mom a father who was willing but un unwilling but able to be there in the capacity that he needed to be but he's trying he was at the probate so you know i'm not his biggest fan but that's not my cross to bear anyway i was really proud and now we're back i don't know these lumps is not coming out of this egg this is what it's looking like 
so I just wanted to catch y'all up. It's 725. I'm hopping right on at 8 and jumping into work because I need to take an extended lunch today. I need to email my boss as soon as I get in. I need to hop in an Uber at about 1045. My friends, one of my close friends here, if you followed me long enough, you've seen me, you see, you saw me, you've seen her on here, her daughter. I stayed with her while I was waiting to move into this place. Her mom passed away maybe like a week and a half ago and her services are this afternoon and I can't afford time wise or even like task wise. I got stuff I need to do to take the whole day off. So I'm going to run at lunch and go to the services and then come back. So <sighs> then my family is coming into town, I think tonight or tomorrow for a day. So I got a lot going on. Anyway, I will, this battery is about to die. I'll keep y'all updated on these eggs. I don't like these lumps. Ugh, yuck. Really quick on the eggs, they were super good. Like it was <laughs> 10 out of 10. The next time I make them, I'll have to share them on the vlog, but they were good. Anyway, really quick, uh, I am headed out to my friend's mom's funeral, so I don't even have very much time to be on here, but I just put on this Attico, uh polo. Um, in these leather IMG trousers, which I love. I need some more leather trousers. These are literally my only pair and I feel like I wear them all the time. And then um, some pumps. These are old Nine West pumps from when Nine West was like bomb.com. Anyway, I feel weird doing an OOTD for a funeral, so I'm going to go. Um, and I will talk to y'all a little later. Good morning, happy Saturday. It's a beautiful, beautiful day in Chicago. And I think it's going to be not warm, but like mild, as I like to say, meaning it's gonna be in like the high 40s, low 50s, which is cool. So, you know, layer, if you're going outside, you don't need like a, a coat in my opinion, but definitely layer weather. Um, I don't have anything to do today. I obviously just came from the gym. Did I record something before I went to the gym this morning? Girl, I don't even know. So if, if this is repeated information, oh, wait. <laughs> anyway, I am drinking some coffee. I made some espresso before I went to the gym. I had that. Let me sit y'all down. Hold on. I'm, girl, why I got y'all on my stove? Ghetto, ghetto. Anyway, um, drinking some, I made some espresso before I left for the gym. And I just added some water in it to make some Americano and the rest of it. And then I was like, let me see if I could make a second thing of like, y'all can't see that, of espresso with the uh, coffee that's like remaining in there. No, you, you get one go round. This so light skin. I don't know what that is, but that's not, that's, that's not going to do nothing. Espresso wise, it might be like a okay cup of coffee, but mm -mm. anyway, attempt failed. That's fine. Um, I'm about to make some breakfast and I was finna make those eggs again with cottage cheese and I said that I will show y'all the next time I made them. So I'm about to show y'all how I mix it really quickly. And then this, well I showed y'all how I mix it. Um, I need to show y'all the end result. So maybe I won't go through what I've already shown y'all, but I'll show y'all what they look like at the end. They ended up being really good. So this is just a Saturday morning check-in. Um, I am going to go pick up my two prints that I dropped off during my birthday, on my birthday to Frank Bridge. They've been ready for a week. They were ready last week. They just emailed me this morning again like, girl, we said those things, those prints are ready. So I'm gonna go pick those up, but that's pretty much it. And then I'm gonna come back. And last week I was like, I'm gonna do some work. I'm gonna plan some stuff, da 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 da. Girl, I didn't do none of that. But today is the day that I get shit planned. Um, because I need to, I already have my like topic for the newsletter. Um, so I need to get the newsletter ready. I need to get to editing this. I need to put some dates on the calendar for, well, I know what date the first, uh, meetup for the run, um, challenge is going to be. It's going to be the last Sunday of the month. So I know what it is. I just need to, ouch. Ooh, I just hit my side on this thing. Um. I just need to get the details mapped out and make a little cute little Canva flyer. For that, I need to look at when I can have another like supper club meetup. Um, yeah, so I need to do that. And that's pretty much it. I thought my sisters were coming in town today. I need to make sure that's still happening. Um, 
So y'all gonna be in the house because I have 12 miles tomorrow and I'm trying to mentally prepare my brain and my body. And I don't wanna be doing too much. Like I worked glutes today and I had a good ass workout, but I did a good stretch afterwards. Y'all, my butt looks so good. Don't mind the penny line. Girl, I came on my period. Well, in the middle of the night, I woke up to use the bathroom and the dam had broken. I was like, oh damn. Uh, so, which it's, oh yeah, this is the right day. Well, it's a day early, but that, it being a leap year threw me off last month. I typically come on on a seventh which which would have been tomorrow but i came on today but i think it's because of february having that extra anyway um but my butt look good don't mind a big old panty line because we got on big draws not big draws like i like to wear like super high cut tight fitting briefs when i'm on my pier or even when i'm just chilling around the house i do like because i mostly wear is this tmi no we all girls and some guys but y'all don't mind uh i typically wear like thong underwear i am not a no underwear i don't you know no shame no shade to people that don't wear drawers but like i don't no i don't want fabric rubbed up against my cooch the way that clothes go up in your cooch like i don't see how girls do it but i mean i understand it whatever to each their own but i wear drawers i mainly wear thongs or like g-strings but when i'm in my house baby as soon as i walk through the door and them clothes come off them high cut briefs come on and they sexy like high cut briefs can be really sexy like I ain't never had no complaint about them. Anyway, that's why I got a panty line. I don't even, that was a long, a bit, a bunch of, anyway, I'm starving. I had a good hard workout. I need to eat something. So I'll show y'all what the eggs look like afterwards. Um, and my stomach growling. So I'll talk to y'all in a minute. And my clothes just stopped in the dryer. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Y'all, look at how fluffy these eggs are. Like the cottage cheese makes them so fluffy. You know how people like add, milk or cream to their eggs to make it fluffy the cottage cheese literally does the same thing look at that the fluffiest eggs i also forgot to mention that i love adding this grated parmigiano reggiano to my eggs i love cheesy eggs and i've been using this for like the last couple months instead of like you know shredded cheese or whatever and go ahead and follow if you're gonna follow petty um anyway i love adding that to like my egg before i like beat it so this is literally just the cottage cheese the parmigiano reggiano and some salt and you get these fluffy delicious restaurant style looking eggs anyway i just wanted to show y'all that i have some a couple pieces of bacon in the oven i'm gonna have a piece of udis and that's that's going to be my uh, breakfast and then i need to shower and go pick up those frames so yeah i told y'all i was gonna come back and show y'all this is the final result chef boyer angela in the his house oh that was lame <laughs> the sun is out baby but i just got back from frame bridge i just ran out really quickly and picked up y'all crooked and picked up um those frames that i was telling y'all that was available i hate to throw this box away because it's super cute it has like all of these different sayings of like memories that you would frame uh best friends when in rome uh when we were three i don't know what that means uh first days the picnic spruce like it's like all of these different things that you would like frame special moments like pictures and stuff i hate to throw this box away i like this but it gotta go anyway i'm dying to show y'all these frames okay let's do beyonce first look at that ah oh, i'm obsessed y'all know like all when i originally got these done if you've been around long enough like all of my other ones i went to michael's they were having a sale and i just decided i was gonna do all black matte um for everything and then i eventually changed it over when i moved into like a forever home or a condo it's looking more like as I like get into looking at buying and stuff like that. But when I went in Framebridge, they had so many different like frame options and it's no extra charge to play around with like the frame colors and textures and all of that and the colors on the borders. Um, like they have a flat fee for like the size of the print or whatever you're having frames. I mean, there are things that would cost a little more, but for what I got, it was no extra. Look at that frame. Oh, I'm excited. I love it and it makes the print look so much bigger for like scale oh let me take Rihanna off the wall real quick come off 
this is literally the same size print this is the same size print but with the framing and stuff that i got from framebridge look at how much bigger that is that is going to take up so much more space on the wall i'm getting that reframed hopefully i just made a tiktok let's hope frame bridge see it and it's like girl let's work together it's like like okay so i can go get rihanna and a couple other things reframed let's speak that into existence when you see this speak it into existence on my behalf and then this one i'm really really obsessed with the andre 3000 hold on look at that <laughs> tell me that's not dope now i want to go play with colors with rihanna like that's eating that's eating the girls up like can you imagine doing like a i don't know what color like frame i would have to play with frames but definitely the border either being like a pink or like a purple can you even imagine oh my god i'm i'm getting them redone i have to i have to get them redone i have to like at least that one i have to get redone like for now for the trifecta and then i want to get these two redone too because i always have hated the way and they asked me they were like do you want that signature showing and i was like yeah i didn't even think that the white part of that was going to be showing if i had the signature of the artist showing so i've always wanted to get that one reframed and have that signature just covered up um so i feel like this is my excuse I feel like this is my excuse. I think I like the black one on this one though. I think I would leave that one the way that it is. But I do want to play with color on that one too. And then the big one over my bed, the Christina Martinez over my bed. Hold on. That one, I want to change that now too. <laughs> and no, I think I like this one in the black too. I think I like that one in the black frame. So I would leave that one. But I'm definitely going to change Rihanna. And I'm going to change that one. And I'm going to change that Obi Aguam one. So the, the guy and the girl with the gold teeth. I'm going to change those three. I have to. I have to. Frame bridge. How at your girl. Let me put some hashtags. Frame bridge. Whatever. Anyway, I am going to go grab me something to eat. And then I'm just going to chill for the rest of the day. Because the, the period cramps are back. And I don't really have much else to say. I just had to come and show y'all the outcome of those prints. Because perfecto perfection y'all i'm so obsessed with these new frames that i am absolutely positively going to get rihanna <laughs> reframed i am going to give it some time i have a sneaky suspicion that hopefully maybe please christina will do a cowboy carter print and then i can go get both of them framed at the same time and put them directly under these two and then i'll move this one but i just left these two here for now one because it's holes in them all and they look crazy so I had to have something to cover it up, but also because I know that this is going to be reframed and hopefully there's a Cowboy Carter rendition of this. Um, otherwise, I'm also going to get this reframed too uh, in a bigger frame. So this is the new start of the gallery wall. I'm going to get my diplomas, my bachelor's, master's um, framed, and then that stuff will start going around shit it ain't that much more room honestly but you know we'll find some little knickknacks to stick like in these corners to sort of like fill it up but i love it and then if you notice one is missing that uh obi aquam print i moved here over this chair because this is going to be the start of a new section and i put them pretty much high up um to fill in some of that dead space over the tv so I put that one there and then as I, I have a couple more prints that I want, um, that I know I want. So I'm going to start getting those um, pretty soon and they'll go on um, this wall. I'll probably, I know I'm going to get this one reframed. I've been wanting to get this one reframed anyway because when I got it framed, they asked me, they said, do you want to try to show that um, signature from the artist? And I was like, yes. I should have said no because the dude was like a little bit of the white is going to be showing. Are you okay with that? I was like, yeah, I'm fine with it. I hate that this piece of white is showing. So I've been wanting to get that reframed anyway. Um, so I'm going to get that reframed too. I, I didn't start or something because now I want to get everything else reframed. But I'm going to leave this one how it is. And I'm going to leave that one, how the Langston Alston, how it is. Um, but this. I kind of like 
the Christina Martinez and um, Al Basir, this collab one. I kind of like it in this black frame, but I think I want to border around it. Well, mm, maybe not because this is so close to the edge. I don't know. Anyway, that one I kind of like the way it is, so I might leave it. Hopefully, if I get a Cowboy Carter print, then I can leave that one as it is, move that one over there with the Obi Ogwan one, and then put Rihanna and another Beyonce right there. That, that <laughs> That's what I'm manifesting. Anyway, this, actually, that's not it. My sister and my niece, can y'all see me? It's so dark, hold on. My family is on their way to Chicago. They're doing like an overnight trip. My nephew's uh, fiance, his fiance, his birthday is I think tomorrow or something. So they're doing like a overnight stay in Chicago to celebrate his birthday. Um, and then um, my niece's boyfriend's or ex-boyfriend, he passed away. Um, his mom's cousin is having a party or something. So they're coming down for that. Anyway, I have two people staying with me in this little space. My One of my older sisters and my niece is gonna stay here. So I'm gonna sleep on the couch. I'm gonna let them have the bed. Um, and I'm not about to go buy no food or nothing. Like, I don't know what to tell them, but I am gonna go buy like some snacks. So I'm about to run to Toto's and get some chips, uh, maybe some dip. Uh, I have some LaCroix, I have some Tapa Chico, I have some bottled waters. I have all of that. But maybe I'll grab um, just like some some fruit soda, like no, no like a like a flavored soda or something like that, juice. I don't know. Um, and then just like something for them to snack on if they get like the munchies in the middle of the night. And then I'm going to come back. I have a chapter and a half of Candace's book to finish. Um, and I need to start working on the outline because I need to email that out by the end of day tomorrow. Um, and then I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill for the rest. I have cramps. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna chill for the rest of the night, but I just wanted to catch y'all up. I think I am going to wrap the vlog up here because they're gonna be here and there's no way that I'm gonna pull out my camera and be trying to vlog with people and they shit all over my apartment. Uh, I don't mean shit like that, but you know what I mean. Um, also, I wanted to try to do a get ready with me for my run tomorrow, but I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do that with people in my apartment. Like, I had plans to do a separate video of just, like, my long run morning routine, which was a suggestion from one of you, either here or on TikTok. I can't remember which place. Anyway, I was going to do that, but I don't know how I'm going to do that with my sister name in here. So, that might have to wait until next week which is a bummer because i thought i was going to give y'all two videos this week um that and a vlog but it might not happen um anyway i'm gonna run to the store i'll come back and show y'all what i bought and then we'll wrap the vlog up so i can finish preparing for them finish reading my book and finish preparing for them to come i need to clean the shower i need to clean the shower oh i'm exhausted i'm tired and i'm cramping baby please one thing about me, I'm going to make a TikTok and forget about this vlog, okay? I am halfway, not halfway, I'm done with one of the snacks I bought. I went to Toto's Market here in Chicago. Y'all know this is my little spot. <clears throat> and I got some Hearts of Palm Ceviche. It is so delicious. Like, if you're vegan or vegetarian, whatever, and you don't like to eat meat or fish or whatever, but you also like stuff like ceviche, this horse of palms of each ceviche is so good. I mean, it doesn't taste like like fish ceviche, but it's good. It tastes good. Like it doesn't taste like it's trying to be something else. The flavors are really good together. I'm just eating it with these deep river jalapeno chips, which I'm about to fold up. I also bought some um, cashews. They make these in house. I bought some oatmeal raisin cookies. I bought some of my, I think I've shown y'all these before. These are my favorite tortilla chips. I bought some of these. These are little snacks just to have in case my sister and my niece get like the munchies in the middle of the night or whatever. Pineapple. Grapes. Bought some hummus. And then after I left Toto's, I went to uh, grab me a bottle of 
wine. I don't think my sister and my niece drink wine, but they can have something if they want to. But I want to grab to me a bottle of Dow. Love me a little Dow. Um, and then from the wine shop, I also grabbed some Simply, uh, what is this, lemonade? Just in case. Uh, they don't just want water or LaCroix or Tapa Chico. It'll be some juice in there for them to drink. And that's all I really, my nose running cause them chips hot and the ceviche is spicy. That's all I really got um, from the store. As I mentioned, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the vloggy vlog up. And maybe after I get done reading my chapters, I'll edit the vlog. Um, and then work on the outline tomorrow while they're out at lunch or brunch or whatever it is that they're gonna be doing so I can have like quiet, like you know what I'm saying, to work on the outline. We'll see. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate y'all. Uh, make sure that you're following me across platforms. They're all in the description box below. And I will check y'all in the next one. If I could get a video recorded while they're here of me getting ready for my run tomorrow and like taking y'all through it, I will. If I cannot, that video will be next week. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see what I can finesse. Anyway, thank y'all again so much for watching and I will talk to y'all in the next one. Me and Robert. Bye. <laughs>